You too. What's going on? Kyle again from E Pool Supply. Today we are back for some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's Great White Suction Side Pool Cleaner. We're going to dive in and show you guys how to tear this thing apart. Stay tuned. Alright guys, and we're back. So again today we've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Great White Suction Side Pool Cleaner. As you guys can see, the cleaner is torn down to basically just the frame. There are a few other parts here that we're gonna go over, but if you guys wanna know how I got down to this part, make sure you guys check out the playlist below. We've got all the videos to show you guys how to tear this thing apart from the outside in. For today's video, I wanna show you guys actually how to remove the lift brush. Um, it is a little bit of a tricky part if you're not familiar with this cleaner on how to actually remove this. The functionality of this lift brush is meant to make sure that as the oscillator goes around, occasionally it will trigger the lift brush, which will actually lift up the cleaner off the ground slightly. And you guys can see it'll kind of push it up like this to the point where if there's debris or something in the way, it helps get that little edge to help start moving it off of that, whether it be a drain um, or a pool toy or whatever it may be. So then that way this thing can keep moving around the pool floor without getting stuck on anything. So it does happen periodically as this oscillator clicks around. So depending on what your suction set at, it could happen more often than not, but um, it is part of the gearing assembly that the oscillator is attached with to make this actually operate. So you will need to remove the two gears that sit in front here with a small screw. Again, we've got videos in the description for you guys on how to remove that. It just makes this process a little easier so you're not having to work around those gears. And then you will need either um, some kind of a stick or some kind of a screwdriver, something pointy that can actually get into the small orifice on the side where you'll actually see a spring. And the lift brush, you'll actually see a spring um, exposed here that you need to get access to. So in order to remove it, you will need to use something small, like I said, get in here, kind of push down on the spring and pull the spring towards you to the point where you guys can actually see here, it's actually able to be lifted out of the assembly. So once I've actually lifted that spring out, you can tell the brush obviously does not have its spring anymore and it's just it just kind of falls down. So um, in order to get it off, you're just gonna kind of push it off to the side. There's, excuse me, there's a little notch in here that allows the brush that when it is in action won't actually go down so far so then that way the spring doesn't actually get fully compressed and cause any issues with that so it does have special molding in there so this is its own specific item you guys can purchase the spring separately if you need a new spring or you can purchase the brush of course we've got both available for you guys on the website so make sure you guys check out those links in the description as well so essentially, it is important that you guys make sure that this is maintained. These bristles are gonna fall off over time, especially depending on the surface of your pool, the usage, um, chemical composition, all the above. So you wanna make sure that these bristles are good so that it makes sure it gives that cleaner that extra edge to lift up to be able to get over that debris and you don't cause issues. I have seen people try to use these in above ground pools with liners and the brush went bad and instead of replacing it they just used it anyways and this thing gets stuck and sits there and constantly agitates on something and we all know for those of you guys that have vinyl liners um, that that'll tear the liner which can cause you a much bigger repair so making sure that you're buying these smaller parts to maintain the entire functionality of the cleaner is really important um, so if you guys got any questions feel free to contact us on that Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to have a ton of videos coming your way on this cleaner as well as every cleaner and other items out there for you guys. Uh, we're doing our best to make sure that we keep all that content coming your way. So until then, I'm Kyle from Reed Pools Park, and we'll see you next time.